Welcome to Basic Electronics. Today we are going to discuss on module one, that is diode applications, introduction, halfway rectification, and full way rectification process. So, what is diode applications? Basically, rectification is one of the major examples of diode applications where rectifiers is a device that converts alternating current to direct current. So, rectifiers are classified as halfway rectifier and full way rectifier. So, full way rectifier is classified as biphase rectifiers and bridge rectifiers. Adapter is one of the example for rectification process. So, this is the figure where you can see that the halfway rectification process where we have uh, a transformer connected to a diode D1 and the load resistance RL. So this is the uh, positive half cycle. Diode has the property of uh, forward bias and reverse bias. In the positive half cycle, the diode goes as forward bias and the uh, signal is obtained across the load resistance RL where the diode acts as a closed switch and you can see the signal uh, being there. The flow of current is in this direction and in the negative half cycle, uh, we can see that the diode goes as reverse bias and uh, we can see that it acts as an open switch as a result no signal is being obtained in the load, load terminal RL. So this is what uh, in the waveform you can see that positive and negative half cycle D1 is forward bias in the positive half cycle and signal is obtained in the negative half cycle then there is no signal being obtained at the output. So this happens uh, continuously this is called as the pulsating output voltage. And in the case of full-way rectification process, we have uh, two diodes, D1 and D2, and uh, the diodes uh, goes into forward and reverse bias. So first case, in the ca case of positive half cycle, D1 goes as forward bias, and the current flow is as mentioned there in figure A. And in the second case, uh, D1 goes as reverse bias, and D2 goes as forward bias, and the flow of current is uh, mentioned as over there. So this is what we can see here. Now in the positive half cycle, we can see that diode D1 is forward biased and diode D2 is reverse biased. As a result, uh, the flow of current takes place through the load resistance RL and uh, D1 acts as a closed switch. And you can see that the current flow takes place in this way as shown in figure where you get the uh, signal over there in the load resistance. And in the negative half cycle, uh, the D1 goes as reverse bias and D2 goes as forward bias. As a result, uh, the signal uh, is obtained in the load resistance RL and the flow of current uh, takes place in this pattern. And uh, we can say that D1 is uh, reverse bias and D2 is uh, forward bias. Now, this is what uh, we can observe in the waveform, in the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. We are going to get the pulsating output voltage where in the positive half cycle, D1 is forward bias and D2 is reverse bias. In the case of uh, negative half cycle, D2 is forward bias and D1 is reverse bias. So this is what uh, takes place here. In the case of bridge rectifier is one of the applications uh, of rectification uh, where you can see that it has four diodes connected with uh, arrowhead uh, symbol pointing towards the positive output terminal and this is what we can see in the positive half cycle you can see that d1 we have d1 d2 d3 and d4 d1 and d2 is forward biased and d3 and d4 will go as reverse bias so as a result uh, the current flow will be in this pattern as shown in the uh, figure and we'll be getting the uh, voltage across the load resistance rl and in the case of negative half cycle we can see that uh, D1 and D2 is reverse bias and D3 and D4 goes as forward bias. As a result, uh, the waveform is obtained across the load resistance and the flow of current is as shown in the figure. Uh, so this is uh, the process which takes place in the case of bridge rectification and this is the animation what you can see here uh, in the positive and negative half cycles. So uh, let us uh, move on to the applications of rectifiers that basically used for power supply units, battery charging and industrial process. Thank you.